guys welcome to our sketch tutorial so today we are going to talk about how to convert sketch project to android studio so let's just jump on it so for this you need to download an application called sketch to any which is available on play store so it's totally free that's the freaking thing so let's go to download it so on play store you can find it as sketch to android studio just search as sketch to android studio so i have already searched so go to the bottom, uh, just scroll down a little bit. Okay, this is the application sketcher to enter studio. So if you don't find application, um, I will drop the link so you can download it from the link. And let's I have already downloaded it. So if you like the app, make sure you create it. So let's open that. Okay, this is the first uh, intro of the app. Uh, the company is Edifex Creative Solutions. Okay, make sure you allow the storage permission, else it won't work. So uh, they show some steps export your sketcher project to android studio okay the second step select the project you want to convert okay um, select the libraries that your project has okay um, then simply click convert then uh, then the converted file will be saved on sketch uh, sketch any uh, folder sorry my spelling is it okay done so um let's open the app okay so these are the current projects that I am using uh, in my SketchUp. So let's try to open SketchUp. Uh, actually, I normally use SketchUp Pro because it's the best mod of SketchUp. So let's open SketchUp Pro. As you can see, these are the current projects. So it's equal to the project in Sketch20. So I will try um, with a project uh, which has many, many libraries. Uh, example. Um, five base cloud messaging, um, AdMob, Facebook, Lottie libraries, like those kind of libraries. So I will be adding it. Okay, this is the project I will use. So it's a project, so it's an app which is available on Play Store, which name is ClickX. ClickX is an application which you can make website without coding experience and you can host it for free and it's totally unlimited. So that's the freaking thing that's going on. So um, what you have to do is, as you can remember the previous step when you open the application, it says export the project to Android Studio. So how you can do is, lower press the application and click sign and export. Okay. For this, you to you have an option called source code to Android Studio. So um, actually, if you directly source code for Android Studio, you directly open with Android Studio, it won't work because it has some bugs. So what you have to do is first you have to export from Android Studio, then you have to um, export, uh, uh, sorry, convert with the Sketch to uh, any application. So if you directly import, let's try to directly export this this file to Android Studio, and let's try to to work on it, and let's try by converting with the application. So let's try both the situations so you can uh, see the differentiation between non-conversion and the conversion. So let's try to wait some minutes. Okay, my project is exported. As you can see now, my project is exported to xketra export slash src dot slash critics dot zip. So let's go for to my file manager. Okay, um, let's go for uh, my phone is ready, and let's go to the folder of sketchware and export to src. And this is the project. So let's try to copy to the desktop. I have copied. Okay, it's copied. So, okay, let's close and I'm going to create a folder called without conversion. So, this is directly exported from the sketchware. So, let's try to open and let's try whether it's working on Android Studio. So, I will put as with, uh, without conversion. Conversion, okay. I will copy this file to here and let's extract it here. Look at the file. Okay, let's press okay. Okay, now it's exported. So now let's try to open Android Studio. And let's drag and drop this one to here. So it's automatically converting uh, the files needed to Android Studio. Okay, let's um, uh, wait some time. Okay, as you can see here uh, in the bottom. Um, Gradle is building an uh, indexing post due to a uh, previous Gradle project. Okay, so it. okay, Gradle is building. So let's wait some minutes. 
actually they it's differs the time where the projects the codings you have actually this project has more than 10,000 lines so it may take some seconds actually not actually minutes just seconds okay uh, it's building okay I think it's done um, let's go here as you can see uh, everything is worked and you can see the icon of uh, the hammer uh, it's okay and the app is also okay let's try to run it on uh, the phone first of all I'm going to open the phone and I do need to um, uninstall this one for some security reasons uh, okay so I will drag this one here and put this one here okay so my phone is connected so my Android Studio is connected to uh, Android Studio uh, sorry my yeah my phone is connected to Android Studio so I can run it so let's try mm, okay okay it shows some errors right so it's not working it says uh, failed link in the resources uh, says failed this and that failed that and this so this is things the, con the conversion without uh, the sketch twin so now let's try to convert uh, convert convert the project uh, with the sketch twin so first of all we need to close this project uh, let's close this project close project okay we just closed Need this one. and let's try to open the application okay okay um wait give me a second okay uh, this is my phone Okay, uh, let's try to open the application. Okay, this is my application, uh, which is sketch to any. And now let's, let's uh, select the project that I have just exported from the Android Studio with Sketcher. So let's go slide down. I think it's nearby. Okay, this is the project. Let's click it. Okay, so this shows some libraries uh, that if the project uh, includes the libraries so actually my project has this kind of libraries so in future they will add some more libraries if uh, um, if the libraries are not there but you can request the libraries by clicking this request button here uh, if your project has some more libraries except these libraries uh, including these libraries uh, if your libraries are not working here then uh, try to uh, do it so now let's try um, so these are the things Android X and uh, Android API 29 support and add mob. Okay, here uh, they are asking some add mob app ID. Make sure you put your app mod app, app ID. Uh, so this should be a working one. Actually, I think I don't have it for the moment. So um, so what I am going to do is I am going to get it for uh, I am going to get it. Okay, I have copied the add mob app id so i'm gonna paste it and i'm not gonna show it because for security reasons so i have enabled uh, the facebook library i have enabled the lottery library i have enabled the firebase cloud messaging also so let's convert it so it's actually it's converting in a few seconds okay let's close this ad okay it, it will take some 30 to 20 seconds it differs from your project size my project is very uh, long so it won't it will take some seconds actually okay done so it's successfully converted to your con your conversion has been saved on sketch to any clickx the clickx so now let's close it and let's go to the file path so which is this um down and the folder is this one so let's copy this one so this is the one so let's copy it here and let's close this one and minimize this one so i will create a folder called with conversion so you can see the difference between the with, uh, without conversion and conversion so actually the without conversion has many errors but with the conversion you won't get any errors okay with conversion let's copy it here and uh, let's extract as files so it's some seconds okay uh, you have to get to know one more thing if you're using sketchup pro and you are using 
you are adding uh, you have uh, assets in your project make sure you copy the assets uh, to your desktop and you have to copy to the particular folder to access folder because when you convert to Android Studio the assets are not going to copy so these are, these are my assets included in my project you can see here these are my assets so I want to copy this one to the assets folder of the project so this is my big conversion project which is this click x uh, you have to go to app src main assets and copy the things that is just this copy copy and paste it here okay these are my assets so okay well done so now let's try to open on android studio open on android studio okay uh so it will take some seconds so i think the grandel is working okay done so as you remember when we can when we uh, compile from the without conversion it got some errors but let's try to convert the with the with conversion so let's try to open and let's go my for my app this is my application as you can see here it says grandel is building okay that waits some time okay okay bingo so there is an error if you are using debug activity make sure you delete that particular code because debug activity is not included in the sketcher project so i i don't need it so i delete that particular code and i'm done so if it's uh, if you don't have the debug activity then fine if you want that activity make sure you copy that activity and paste it on the project okay uh, as i see it's compiling uh, granular building is compiling okay installing bingo so it means that it's building without errors so it says install let's install it okay as you can see the app is working bingo so the app is totally working so this is the best way you can convert your sketchy project to Android Studio. so this is the uh, way that's open so it's opening right so there's no errors actually okay so it's working perfectly so as you can see now we just converted sketchy project to Android Studio and with conversion and without conversion so what is meant by without conversion mean you just directly export from sketcher to android studio and just copy it to android studio and open with android studio so with conversion means you export from to android studio and convert it again with the libraries included in the project with sketch to any so this is super easy and you can convert any project any kind of project uh, from this application so if your libraries are not included in this particular project make sure you uh, request the things request the users to uh, you can request the admins to uh, include those kind of libraries so thanks for watching and please subscribe so let's see in your next video